So I had a talk with another anthropologist recently about a lot of the research that I'm doing, and I'm just trying to figure out why some of these anthropologists or archaeologists are seemingly just running in the opposite direction of even talking about anything to do with this research. And I can understand that because of the amount of fringe things that have been said related to these topics, that some are just, they just already are a little standoffish towards this information. But I know I come with actual physics and actual information to back it up. And everyone that I have ever sat down with, I can convince and show them what I'm talking about. And anyone who's actually a real person on the internet, in person, wherever, anyone who's actually interested in getting the real information out, I don't like using truth, but anyone who's actually looking for answers is willing to sit down and talk about this, is willing to look at these this information because I come with receipts. I come with real physics. So it's becoming inordinately weird, again, that some of these archaeologists or scientists are actively refusing to even address or look at it while they then manufacture and mass produce further erroneous physics claims and just spread them to millions of people on the internet. And now in this conversation I had with this anthropologist, I'm not gonna name names because they asked to be kept out of this. Their response was that they felt that this information or this content, they felt that this detracts from the discussion of understanding how people in the past lived. And I, I couldn't have been more adamant about how wrong that take was because for to be clear here again and i've said this over and over the basic wave mechanics and physics to understand the earth harmonics and vibrational energy transmission systems through the earth was developed by pythagoras in 500 bc and by the time of vitruvius they had extremely advanced wave mechanics and understanding and not just understanding applications of wave mechanics as evident by their amphitheaters they even talked about having higher order dampers and amp uh, amplifiers by putting special resonator vessels around the amphitheater in specific places to take out and dampen out any feedback and loops to improve the uh, acoustic quality stuff that we are really didn't understand even ourselves until about 100 200 years ago but not only did they develop this physics and, and, and mathematics for it in 500 BC, 2,500 years ago, but they even have it in their myths. The entire myth of Poseidon is his, is, he's literally known as the earth shaker and his weapon, his mythical weapon, this trident. It's not even that it has some like sort of mystical powers. It literally is. He just strikes the ground with his trident and it causes earthquakes, mechanical vibrations, into the ground causing other vibrations and aka earthquakes in other locations it's it's not even like some mythical or magical weapon that we can't explain with science it's just literally like that's not even modern physics that's that's ancient physics even it's just vibrations uh, furthermore let's go to the other side of the planet the inca the incan king pachacuti literally the name stands for earth shaker it was just a coincidence though, right? And it's only said by the Greeks that the Atlanteans, who I claim are the American, indigenous Americans, Plato said that they worship Poseidon, and uh, Inca kings are named after Earthshaker and stuff. Just a coincidence now. On top of that, we know the entire continent of the indigenous people of America were doing ritual and annual powwow dance festivals where they would, in mass, put vibrations into the ground using their feet. The entire continent of people use this as part of their culture to send vibrations through the ground. But somehow this detracts from the discussion of understanding the way people in the past live. I don't think you can understand them without grasping this first. And I almost think it's a little bit unethical to even try to understand the people of the past if you are willfully ignoring this massive part of their culture, the way they lived, the way they carried themselves as a society, 
I'm not going to sit here and explain and say I know exactly why they did them. I think I know the physical repercussions of what they did. I believe they understood that. They even might have gone as far as the higher ups understood it and created certain religious rituals just to get the people to perform actions that have physical outcomes. And then they created a, a, a some sort of spiritual or psychological or religious narrative around why they need to do that just to get them to do it. People believe it's spiritual, they'll do it, so it, in effect it gets the process done. What they believe doesn't have to be the reason for it to be done, If even if there is an actual intent behind what they're doing. So is it really that much of a detraction from discussing how these people actually lived their lives to discuss this mechanical vibrations put into the earth system this wireless energy transmission system you know we can't explain how they all somehow have this connection between their religions we literally don't think that they actually made transfers of like they didn't actually travel to each other but we can't explain how they all had the same context and have so many things similar in their religions well you know if they can communicate with each other by sending vibrations through the ground they wouldn't have to have ships to get to each other for the information to diffuse to each other in fact they might have all thought they were talking to some god or whatever by sending vibrations in the ground and just like listening for an echo or they thought oh my god i'm hearing stuff from somewhere uh we got this we picked up this message from space so you just even tesla thought he was talking to aliens Probably could have just been someone on the other side of the earth. And they didn't know. Like, uh, how many times did these people send vibrations into the ground to get a message back and didn't know who they were talking to? Didn't know it was someone on the other side of the earth. Thought they were talking to deities or talking to God. Or then maybe they did figure it out it was someone on the other side of the earth. And this comes down to the whole Atlantis discussion. And the people who tell us the story of Atlantis was that it was the gods sent a calamity at them. And I'm telling you that these nations, these kingdoms from the past had this technology to control earthquakes. And then they wrote a narrative story about how the gods sent earthquakes to Atlantis to damn them. No, they sent earthquakes as a weapon at the other continent. And then said, did you see what God just did? It was because they weren't pious enough. It's been, we're in the middle of a multi-millennial long war right now. That we know nothing about because they don't, we don't, they don't need us to explain. To understand it just like i explained with they don't need to have the people in a religion to understand what they're doing for it to have a physical outcome that has nothing to do with what they believe that they're doing as long as they do the things that they're physically supposed to do for their rituals you get the physical outcome on the earth out it doesn't matter if they're happy with doing their rituals who cares to quote burkhart to the question of whether the rituals bring spiritual atonement or just psychological purgation or cleansing is to understand that there is no distinction between the two. And now how can you begin to think you even understand someone or some people when you're looking at them all crooked like that? Perspective matters. And look, I get it. It's smart to have reservations. The smartest people always keep reservations before jumping into anything like that. But to have reservations implicitly means you are going to take the time to look at it, at the information. You are reserving your opinions. You're, you're waiting until you see it. It doesn't mean you're waiting to just never look. It doesn't mean you're just having reservations and you never, ever take the time. <laughs> because then you're not having reservations. You're just choosing to ignore it. If I haven't been inordinately clear here, I'm not suggesting for anyone to do anything about anyone doing anything.
maybe let's build the pyramid. <laughs> like, all right, let's build the pyramid. Like, let's build some fun, cool mass dampers and vibration Helmholtz resonators to protect our people and the ground and the earth. That's it. Inordinately clear. I want no malice towards anyone. None. I want peace. I want everyone to get along. Let's fix this garden. 